Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Ashley here. I'm Steve. And I'm Michaela. Um, be sure to, if you're new, hit that like and subscribe button so that you can continue following along with our amazing adventures as we go along the road with our camping trips. And that is Riley and Tango sleeping. Yep, today is another travel day. We're on the road. We got a, a longer travel day, probably about nine hours or so. Longer than uh, I like to to, uh, to drive towing the camper. But we're trying to get down to Florida. So today is the halfway point. We're going to make it to North Carolina. We'll be there for a couple of days, and then we've got another nine hours or so to finish out the trip to get to Florida. So be sure to follow along. We stopped at this truck stop here to uh, take a quick break. Get some traffic on 95 just south of uh, DC. Good thing is, we always carry our bathroom with us. Hi, making peanut butter and jelly for lunch. While the kids are eating cheese pizza. <laughs> Thank you, come here. Come on. Sit. Thank you, sit. There's no peanut butter and jelly for you. At the truck stop here, I did a walk around. I noticed this dust cover was missing and the one inside was actually loose. Luckily I was able to push it back on without having to take the wheel off. So the only way to really get to that cover that goes over the, uh, the barrens is uh, to take the wheel off. So that's why it's always important to do your walk around when you stop at a truck stop. Well, it's a rainy day here at Lou Mill Vineyards in uh, North Carolina. It's raining a little bit yesterday when we uh, when we got here last night. It's supposed to be a tropical storm coming through. It's supposed to get about three inches of rain uh, by the end of the day. I guess we're not going to be able to explore too much of the vineyard, but from what we see, it's uh, pretty nice. These are the camping sites here. We've got ten spots with electric and water, and then they have. Uh, some other spots somewhere else on the property I haven't found yet where you don't need any hookups you can uh, do boondocking I think that's more on the back end of the property possibly there's the gift shop here at Lou Mill Vineyards sell wine I got a little outside seating area so you can enjoy your drink beautiful landscaping they have What I see online, it also looks like a big uh, venue for weddings and other outdoor events.
statue tango. Good boy. Come on. Yeah, it's a good doggy. Sitting there nice and quiet, unlike you. What are you doing? Get off there. How many acres of property was? I think maybe they said 80 some acres. I want to say I could be wrong. It's a pretty good sized property. Not sure how much wine they make a year. There's that little chapel all the way down that, that road right there. But I did forget to mention, they do have several cabins on site as well that you can rent if you don't have a camper. And you're coming through the area. The Harvest Host program, you can uh, stay at one of their cabins. Obviously, there's a fee for that. I'm not sure what that is. Staying at the spot where we're at with the electric and water hookup was a fee. The first night is free uh, and for boondocking. And then if you stay a second night, they charge, I think, $10. And then if you need water and electric, there's another fee upon that, or above that. Our total for two nights that we're staying was uh, $70, which isn't bad. It's good to support local uh, smaller businesses like this. It's a good part about the uh, Harvest Host Program, which actually, this is our first stay at a Harvest Host uh, place. Anything that's bad about it is the, uh, the weather. Another old Ford sitting over there. Guess the storm's getting closer. It's starting to rain harder. Get windy. Tank and I better get back to the camper. Now they're calling for almost seven inches of rain, so we decided to pack up and uh, keep heading south. But our first mission is uh, trying to find some place to fill up. Our goal was to go out to fill up today while we were waiting out the storm, but we got about 79 miles to empty, so we're trying to find a get back towards 95 and find a, uh, a truck stop. Luckily, we got the open roads app that we can look in. Well, we found a spot to fill up here at the uh, Walmart in whatever town we're at in North Carolina. We only had about 60 miles left to uh, we're empty. I don't know if we'd be able to make it back to the highway or not. So one rule we have is never pass gas, or at least don't pass on gas. Whatever way you want to say that. Just squeeze in here. Next thing we got to do is uh, get out of this parking lot. Well, made it back to 95 South. Use the right lane to take the I-95 South ramp, then merge onto I-95 South. What do you think, Ashley? About what? Our stay. <laughs> oh, I wish we could have stayed longer. I'm no. looking forward to relaxing. We stay ahead of this cyclone or tropical storm or whatever it is. Continue on I-95 South for 214 miles. Trying to make it to the Savannah area today. I 
should be south of the storm. We need to relax tonight. Riley's back there sleeping already with Tango. So if you guys have been to any campgrounds in Savannah, let us know which ones uh, you like. We're looking on the Harvest Host app and uh, we used Road Tripper, so we're trying to find one we can uh, stay at tonight. Taking a quick break here. About mile 99 in South Carolina. Stop here at a rest stop. Stretch our legs. Take Tango for a walk. At least we're out of the rain. Glad we uh, decided to leave early and get out of that storm. Tropical cyclone or something like that they said was coming in. Take a quick break and then uh, we'll get back on the road. Quick stop at uh, Walmart, well, because I need a better pillow, so we gotta find a pillow. So that's our mission right now. Holy crap, I didn't think there'd be so many types of pillows to choose from. Fighter jets. F-22 maybe? Close enough. miles or so to, till we get there. Well, I figure we check in. It's been a couple days. We uh, got down here to Florida. 
and then decided to chill out for a couple days after driving almost a thousand miles and through that tropical cyclone, which I'm glad we decided to leave early because it ended up dumping almost seven inches of rain at that vineyard where we, uh, we were staying out in that field. But we're down here in Bush now. We're staying at uh, an escapees park. We we're, uh, we're members of the escapees club. We're staying at the uh, Sumter Oaks. I mean, it's a nice little park. It doesn't have all the amenities that bigger parks would have, but it's, you know, it's nice and quiet. And for members of the escapees program, it's uh, you know, inexpensive. have come to a dead end on this trail it's like the rivers flooded out there's no other clear path to get around there's our yellow marker that we're supposed to keep going we're gonna backtrack a little bit there's a little side road Let's see if we can loop back on that side road and uh, get back on our trail farther up 